Raw just continued to insult our intelligence, bro. And I'm going to tell you. Now, it was a couple of moments in here that I liked. A, seeing us, seeing Triple H back in the ring. Yes, he came back tonight. You see the thumbnail? Yes, he came back. Ric Flair trying to get it in with Lacey Evans. And the main event. The main event in the Drew and the little Drew McIntyre uh and the little Drew McIntyre thing. That was it. The rest of the show was fucking atrocious. Let's get into the show. Randy Orton and Triple H opened up the show. And Randy Orton challenged Triple H. No, no. Triple H had a problem with Randy Orton disrespecting the legends. Kicking them in, in their heads and stuff, disrespecting them. And Triple H and then Triple H basically said he's um Triple H base um Randy Orton is basically not a le is not a legend. And Randy Orton said said uh let's put that to the uh test at um in the main event. That's uh me and you are um me and you in the main event on Monday Night Raw. Now he, Triple H says no. And Triple and Randy Orton says this said this the uh said this um in twenty nineteen um leading up to that match at Super Showdown that uh Triple H um is still unable to uh to um retrieve his balls from Stephanie's purse and he just freaking socks on uh, Triple H just socks on um, Randy Orton in the face and Drew McIntyre addresses the COVID nineteen situation he's telling people to um to um wear their mask and be safe. And follow protocols. Now we get this match with Lacey Evans and Charlotte Flair. And Ric Flair comes out and helps Lacey Evans. She puts he puts her um uh her uh leg on a rope and and um after uh Charlotte Flair hits a natural selection and she rolls up she kinda uh rolls up um I don't know what she did, but no Actually, Ric Flair grabbed um, Charlotte Flair's uh, feet, and uh, Lacey Evans fell on top of um, Charlotte and into the pen one, two, three, while Ric Flair was holding our feet still. And Ric Flair and and Lacey Evans is going to get it in tonight. I wish I was Ric Flair, but uh, okay. Now we got this stupid ass Jackson Riker and. Uh, Jeff Hardy match. Now, Elias said he couldn't compete, so he put Jackson Riker, Jackson Riker in this match. AKA, get off my TV, Jackson. Get off my TV, Riker. Act, actually, P, um, the person that uh keeps his, that never keeps his mouth shut on Twitter, defending Donald Trump, Riker. Jeff Hardy lost by. Elias distracting him and Jackson Riker getting the roll up victory, and Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins. Jeff Hardy asks for a match with Elias. He he accepts. Didn't you say you was injured? Didn't you say you couldn't compete? And now you're having a match with. And Jeff Hardy wins with a squanton bomb. I don't give a fuck. And we got a tag team match. Between um, Sheamus and Keith Lee versus Miz and Morrison. Now, I, I said this before. Miz and Morrison are fucking trash to me. They used to be one of the one of my favorites. John Morrison and Impact and The Miz in 2010. I liked The Miz in 2010. Because, like, I wish we get more MJF with... The Miz. I think the Miz need to be more like an MJF. And like how they're booking him now is terrible. Um, the highlight of the match was Keith Lee. Boom rush freaking um uh freaking John Morrison into the freaking corner and the whole freaking uh the ring the whole freaking uh the rope and the, the ring thing came off. And oh my god, bruh. And Keith Lee was about to um it was about to hit his move and but um Seamus ended up tagging uh ended up tagging in, hitting a bro kick on John Morrison, 
and they end up uh trying to brawl at that. They end up uh getting pissed at each other, and Sheamus, I mean Keith Lee, end up winning with a spirit bomb. One, two, three. Keith Lee, I'm mean, Keith Lee. Triple H accepts the challenge with Roman Reigns in the main event, an unsentient match. So now, Drew McIntyre. Um, after the, uh, after the, um, uh, Goldberg's, um, uh, freaking, uh, freaking, uh, video package, um, Drew McIntyre said his piece on Goldberg, and he said, I accept your challenge, you're next. T-Bitch, T-Bag, aka T-Bar, beats Xavier Woods. And oh, Kofi, and get this, Kofi Kingston wasn't there with a broken jaw because he had a broken jaw. Okay. Now we got a United States Championship match between Matt Riddle and Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley attacks him before the match. Um, he, um, Matt Riddle got a little offense in, and he got hit with a. I think a. I think she, he taps him out. He taps him out in seconds. Well, I think he pinned him. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. And then. He challenged MVP. He challenged MVP. And Bobby Lashley ended up uh, causing a disqualification. And uh, Matt Riddle ended up winning by disqualification. And they just ended up just beating down freaking, uh, beating down uh, uh, freaking Matt Riddle. Sheamus and, uh, Sheamus and uh, Keith Lee um, had an interview backstage. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So, AJ AJ Styles and Drew Gulak fight, I guess, for the spot for the Royal Rumble. I don't know. And AJ won, and AJ just won. AJ won. So, Drew Gulak went from competing and being a tag team partner with Daniel Bryan to doing this. Wow, what a freaking career to be. What a good career to be uh, Drew Gulak, saying sarcastically. And we got a match between Dana Catering and Mandy Rose. Fine ass Mandy Rose. They lost by when Nia Jax tried to. She went. She went to go on a uh, second turnbuckle on the turnbuckle, and Shayna Baszler ended up tagging herself in and end up locking the cocaine clutch in. I don't know why we keep getting this match every goddamn week, but stop this shit, please, for the love of God. For the love of God. Please stop. Stop it. Now, Randy Orton and Triple H. Main event. Main event. Now, I actually liked Triple H being in a ring. Being in a ring. This is Triple H's first match since his match with Randy Orton in 2019, I think. I think this is first I think this is his first match. For real, I, honestly, I think this is his first match since 2019. That's crazy. So, Triple H went to uh, get the sludge hammer. And when he raised it, when uh, he went in a ring, the lights was going out. And the and then the um, the, um, ha, the uh, sludge hammer caught fire. And somehow he just disappeared. And we seen Alexa, and we seen a pink light go on, and Alexa came out, and she threw a fireball. She threw a fireball. Now look what I'm. This is what I'm gonna say. I like that. That ending segment was actually cool. That ending segment, the whole Ric Flair shit with um Lacey Evans, and and the freaking open the opening segment. That was it. That's the only shit I like. The rest of this shit was filler. So the people that's gonna back and you know what I'm not gonna even con- that's why I didn't go in on the fireball thing. I actually like the segment, but I'm not gonna say anything because I have something to say about the supernatural um uh things in WWE and in another video. I'm not gonna say when. I'm not gonna say when. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna do a video on it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do a video on it. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what the video is gonna be about. I, I know what the video is gonna be about because I'm gonna. It's gonna be. Excuse me, it's going to be about Supernatural. 
stuff in my in wrestling. So look out for that video. And that is my review. My review. So this show sucked. Nothing other than Ric Flair and Lacey Evans and uh Alexa Alexa the Triple H and um and the Randy segment. Drew Ma and Drew McIntyre. That was it. That's it. That's all that I liked about this show. That is it. So what do you what do you, what do you, what did you guys think about this show? If you like this show, something is wrong with you. I said I liked the main event and I liked the opening segment. I like what Drew said. I I, I like the Drew segment too. That was it. So if you like this show, you're fucking retarded. You like this show. But that's I'm about to get out of here. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Okay. So I haven't uploaded New Year's Evil. Um I haven't even I haven't even watched the video. I didn't even have to I didn't even watch the freaking uh show yet. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow and I'm gonna I'm gonna review it. I promise. I promise I'm gonna review it tomorrow. I promise I'm going to review it tomorrow. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this video. Um, see you guys later.